day after a couple of days so everybody's working on the boats Marta, do you want to work beer? <clears throat> here we are doing some upgrades this is our upgrade list and Marta is just installing a handrail Yay, so, so we can, can hold on here yes so we're missing that by the chart table so we won't be flying across the kitchen this needs to get serviced. Hello. So Which? we are cleaning the, or we are going to clean the fresh water tank. This is around 100 liters. So let's see how it looks inside. Success. Almost there. Ah, go up. Last two. There's some glue holding it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how it looks inside. Oh wow! That's oh wow! Cool. So good! That looks amazing! Woo! Or maybe not as clean as I thought. Ew. Ew. I don't want to drink this. This is the little bit here. Just installed this water filter so we can actually drink the harbor water because it was tasting really like chlorine and kind of disgusting so i hope this helps oh yeah okay so we got our genoa fixed and that cost us 450 euros expensive not that much in norway that would cost like 800 euros so i'm just pleased that they could actually fix it so, we are putting up our repaired Genoa. I put a shackle, like, with the angle, so it will go straight up. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So now we're attaching the lines. And Dennis is failing at making a bow, now, bow tie. Or maybe not, Ray! Marta is climbing up to put some lines. So the main sheet doesn't get tangled on the steps. So we have this second wire that comes up from the aft stay. And so just as a security, we attached a Dyneema line that goes all the way down. So in case that this one rips, we still have like a security line that pulls at least a little bit. Uh, so maybe hopefully our mast won't fall down when this one breaks good morning so we are gonna work on the boat it's marta she's working on the windows super cool let's check it out windows were leaking so we put tape over it um just to for a quick fix so now we have to reseal all the windows i don't like this feeling i'll take off my windows Oh god and on this side we have the front window take, <laughs> taken off and cleaned all the edges so we took the old sea car off which takes ages we had to tape some garbage bags around because it was raining last night now i'm gonna clean the window because there's lots of um, sea car on it as well and then we put this window back on so and i am gonna change this foot of this railing because it's completely broken but i need to take the bolts from inside to take it out so that's gonna be a bit tricky so i mounted the new one but the pole itself which is this i can't get it out because I have nothing that fits this one because it's kind of rounded out so either I have to cut this and make it a bit shorter or buy a new one hmm. I'm gonna see how expensive they are so I broke apart the old mount because it was cast aluminum let's put it back in Good enough. Ah. 
Oh. oh, window number three is back inside. We just uh, put all the screws back in. And now we'll wait, tighten the screws later or tomorrow or one more time. And then cut the edge of the betrayal tape and put like a silicone also, corner around it. So our windows looks leak free. It's raining now and there's no leaks so far. Woohoo! Awesome! Now we're gonna reorganize the boat. Right, Marta? Woo! Woo! So we are gonna replace our outhaul line because we an accident it got tangled and we had to cut it and now it's really short. Um, since we replaced our reef line with the longer line to go to the third reef, um, I attached the old reef line, I just sewed them back together and because it's much longer than the outhaul line and I'm gonna replace the old outhaul line with the old reef line so we have a longer line there so I've been just pulling it through and now here's uh, the ends I can cut it, reattach it here then we got our new line so we are reorganizing or not reorganizing but packing stuff we're not gonna use for a long time down in the front hatch not hatch but under the front cabin which includes our big flippers and diving suits and stuff because we're not gonna use them until Caribbean so we have more space here right when the stuff closes we're gonna put the dinghy and the spare cells everything in front so the front deck will be free of clutter what? so I'm reorganizing the boat and we have a ton of unlabeled cans we know they are all the same because we said oh let's just not label them because they are all this and that we don't know what this and that is anymore so i think it's uh, tomato sauce i it's think it's tomato beans there's like tomato beans beans and tomato sauce let's see what it is you ready yes <laughs> hey, hey i was right beans and tomato sauce all right okay Okay, so Marta, let's have a look at our list. What did we check out today? Um, we repaired the railing. Yes, check. Also the reef lines, we yes. changed one of them. And soon, hopefully, we can also check seal windows. Woo! But not yet. So we are mounting this stuff, like here. So we can attach our bodies to it and I'm gonna mount this one all the way in the, into the end and between this one and that one we're gonna put a line so we can freely move back and forth with these nice stuff. Okay so we are gonna service our little generator in case there's lots of cloud days in the Atlantic so we still have power and a autopilot. So that's the plan. So at one point I accidentally put, uh, what do you say, gasoline with um, oil in it, which was supposed to be for the dinghy, uh, which kind of messed up my engine. So this was just like this. So now I cleaned it up. So. Let's hope there's not too much soot in the rest of the engine. So, I am doing the last oil change before we leave. I'll just use this hand pump. It's the easiest, takes very little space. I run the engine for 10 minutes, so it's lukewarm. So the oil flows easier. And the oil filter, of course. Okay, so the oil change is done, but I kind of messed it up pipe jumped out of the uh, little pump and I uh, made a mess, including my knees. Yes, so we are on our way to Carrefour, to this giant supermarket to do our provisioning. And then we're gonna take a taxi all the way back because it's a bit far to walk. Also, we don't wanna carry. <laughs> we don't want to carry all the food. Yes. Feliz Navidad, amigos. Shopping time. 
con salida desde cualquier punto de España con la Tamer Lines en viaje. Weighs <laughs> like, I don't know. This is 150 liters of water, so this is 150 kilo plus. Um, 86, 80, something. Not so much water. <laughs> Because we want 100 extra liters. Why have so much food? Because, Because we're crossing an ocean. All right. So, how was the shopping? Caravan. Caravan. So, shopping is done. That took us only two and a half, two and a half hours. And we filled like two giant shopping carts. So we could have put three, but we just shoved everything in two. Yeah. So, oh well, they're gonna deliver, deliver it to the boat, so that's real Tomorrow. nice. Tomorrow. So we have to be at the boat between five and nine. So for now, I'm gonna be sorry for my toilet visit tomorrow. So we went to the Hippodino to buy all the fridge stuff and some bread and some other things that we didn't get at the Carrefour yesterday. Carrefour. And Dennis is our fridge master. I'm the fridge master. So he can store away everything in our little fridge. Let's see how that goes. So we got our provisioning stuff. Yeah, it's quite a bit. And all that gonna go into the boat. Oh yeah. So we got this pump <laughs> and we're super excited about it. And it fits perfectly the water bottles that we bought. Let's pump it. Wait, I'll pump it with this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> So we drink a cup of coffee at the service bar and we're gonna go to the veggie shop and buy lots of bananas and veggies and that sort of stuff, freshies, so that's gonna be nice. Here we go, doing the fresh stuff, buying veggies, this market, it's great. Bananas, so much bananas. So we did our groceries, I have my bananas, green ones, obviously. And I always wanted to buy a stack of bananas like this, this is awesome. And Marta, what do you have? Lots of onions and potatoes and cucumber and tomatoes and those on and on. So we have to eat them before they go bad, otherwise they'll go overboard. Oh well, we have to eat a lot of veggies in the beginning, which is nice for us. So. Now we're gonna go back and yeah, store everything in place. That's gonna take a lot of time. Marta, what are you up to? I'm filling up fruit now. Ah, oh, so exciting! Got our bananas, fruits, veggies, and a whole backpack full of onions. Action! Action, okay, we're leaving. Bye. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> Fish cake out. <laughs>